Many of the people inside Rome's Church of Saint Anselmo were too young to remember the Second Vatican Council, but they heard from witnesses who vividly recall the first document the Council approved, Sacrosanctum Concilium, the Constitution on the Sacred Liturgy. Arguably, this document may have changed Catholicism for everyday churchgoers more than any other text from the Second Vatican Council. La incorporación de las lenguas. The incorporation of vernacular languages allows for a higher comprehension of the liturgy. Along with that, there is an all-important increase in the use of the Word of God within the liturgy. We basically read the entire Bible. Delegates overwhelmingly approved the document and Paul VI promulgated it on December 4th. Among other things, it allowed for more active participation of worshippers in the liturgy, as well as the sacraments, something restricted before the Council. It also allowed for the liturgy to be translated from Latin to other languages commonly spoken across the world. Over the years, these foreign languages have replaced the use of Latin in Mass, and even today, translations into even more languages continue. La diversidad de las lenguas es un fruto. The diversity of languages is a fruit of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit allows the Word of God to be heard in all languages, to be understandable, to be interactive. But keeping Latin as a common language allows for mutual celebrations and allows the faithful to relate to each other. In addition to celebrating the first council text, organizers use the conference to relaunch the Ecclesia Orans magazine. It is dedicated to liturgy and had not been published for nearly 30 years.